Isn't this the most adorable thing you'll ever see in your entire life? A baby wolf! Oh, it's so adorable! This will brighten up anybody's day. Like mine. Because last episode ended pretty pretty bad in challenge mode. So, I have started a new zoo! Welcome back everybody to Planet Zoo where I have... Whoa, gosh, I can't control the camera. <laughs> where this time, I've gone through and gotten a lot of the same animals. Spent a lot of time, we're on year 16. But I also wanted to make this to a zoo that I would actually really want to build since I had already kind of played through before. So I can actually do a lot of the cool things I wanted to do that I can do now. So when you walk in, all these people, look at how many people are so happy to be here. Like these guys with balloons. Well, he's a little, okay, he's not so happy. But these guys are walking in. Yeah, look at that. They're so happy. So we go in and there's the information center. But then to our right will be the Komodo dragons. Uh, and I have one, I have a bunch actually, not gonna lie, there's a bunch. And we have the warthogs again. Woohoo, warthogs! Pumba! Oink, oink. But I did get the Chinese pagnolias, but they were uh, escaping all the time. So instead, I stuck with Nile monitors. And while I was building the zoo, they had a whole bunch of them. So I had to put the mail in uh, my storage to prevent any more babies. Because I already have three right here, and I'm pretty sure there's a fourth one somewhere around here. But yeah, that's cool. And I got some tortoises. Some giant Galapagos tortoises. Uh, oh, he's a little hungry. Wait. How are you hungry? You're, you're fine. And then I came in here, got the little flowers here. And of course, I couldn't forget the saltwater crocodiles. The main attraction, so you're going to be walking in the zoo, and BOOM! Saltwater crocodiles! And they've already had two babies. Very happy. But this is what I spent a lot of time doing. So what I wanted to do was put the crocodilians as the main attraction. So you walk in, BOOM! Saltwater crocodiles right there in front. But then you go walk around here, go down the stairs, and then you see the underwater gharial exhibit. Which I've had this idea for a long time, I just never could put it together. Until I've learned to get some practice in. So yeah, that's so cool. Look at him. He seems pretty happy. And with the maintenance things, I did find out. If you click on this thing in the corner here. Click on the negative impacts on guests. It doesn't matter if it's seeing or not. It's just if it's near guests, it makes a negative impact. And I found this obviously out after uh, I put everything there. So they're kind of stuck here. All these guests that walk by are going to be unhappy. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't mind. But then I worked so hard on this wolf enclosure. Look at this. It looks like it, uh, like something that it, like an actual wolf enclosure with a little puppy. And I did get the terrain tools, which if you go down to terrain and you do this, I actually built this mountain from this, sculpting it down. And same thing with their den over here. So what I did was I got the den, I couldn't put it up to the wall, I'm not sure why that was. But I came in here and put a whole bunch of beds in here. Oh, look, she, she loves it so much. Aww, or he loves it so much. Oh, look at that, that's adorable. But also I made it to where the guests could see in here as well. So I really worked hard and a long time on this one. Uh, you can get lost in this game for hours and hours and hours and still not want to leave. <laughs> and then my next project that we did is we come over here, walk to the next main... Oh, there's a lot of trash. I need to work on that. We come over here, and I made this little picnic area where there's pizza. Where... Yeah, pizza pen four. Uh, well, how are they unhappy? That's, that's not right. And they're waiting in line for someone to get there. And uh, the bathrooms. But also, I found picnic tables. So I put some picnic tables in here. And you can only put picnic tables on a paved road. So I had to make this little kind of like circle place, which is pretty cool. And then one of the main attractions, the African exhibit, which this is what I really, really wanted to do with my last file, but everything was being a butthole. But yeah, look at this. All these animals. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And with a little elevated path going across the enclosure, whole enclosure. But then I also wanted to have it to where I could walk along the side here for other exhibits we're going to have way out here in the field. So they could still see all the, well, they, they could see all the holes in the fence. <laughs> but they could also see all the animals as they walk by here like this. And if they really, really felt ambitious, they could walk up this, like, Rocky Balboa number of stairs. 
stand up here and overlook all the animals. I think that's so gonna this is gonna be so cool when I get like the giraffes in here. Maybe Af I don't think African elephants will actually do so good. Because I found out that the sexes in this game. Okay, this game moves very, very fast. And it's so hard to try and find mates and breed while the game moves so fast. Because animals die so quickly, it's hard to breed, learn all the genetics. It's amazing. I mean, I love the detail, don't get me wrong, but my gosh, just, just slow it down. I've had to go through like four winters already trying to build this place up. Which, by the way, trying to build when it's snowing outside is not fun. <laughs> it is not. And then the Stafford over here, because it took forever for the vets to go way from over here, run all the way over here. And they were kind of tired and complaining, so I fixed it. And I like how I did the rock walls here. I actually really, really approve of this. Kind of hides the fence there, except we may, may need a mechanic for that one. We'll get on to that. But yeah, that's what I've done in my franchise mode so far. So everything I got in here is a female. Because I'm trying to learn all the breeding in this game. Because uh, I looked at my warthog breeding and there's a lot of uh, inbreeding. Which is not good. The game does not like the inbreeding. Like, uh, genetics? Oh, yeah. Compare like mates. Zimba? Yeah. M breeding. <laughs> Whoopsies. So, yeah. We gotta change that. So, the game, I feel like, just needs to slow down a little bit. Just because if you want no inbreeding, you really have to switch out every single animal every single time when their baby is born. You have to switch out, switch them out every single time. And with all the vandalism and the crowd unhappy, I've just spent a lot of time paused. Like I am now. It's so difficult, but it's so rewarding at the same time. And since I have started a new franchise mode, I've been, ooh, and yeah, the Komodo dragons have been busy breeding. But uh, with the animal market, there's so many more animals on here now. Except uh, everything's kind of expensive. I have 44 conservation points. So we're, uh, yeah, we're kind of hurting for giraffes right now. Let's refresh. Hopefully there's some for money. I'll just take a few. Maybe he won't break out this time. So we will take out that. And actually, I want some African buffalo. That actually does go in the African exhibit. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Let's go cheap, cheap. Oh, here we go. Uh, terrible genetics, that's okay. Nah, I can work with this one. So we're gonna adopt this one. Boom, and I, to help the prevention of spreading diseases, put them in quarantine first. Oh my goodness. Yeah, put them in quarantine first. That will help out immensely. Back over here. Oh, did all the money ones sell? So, are you guys seeing all these animals like I am? And like, because I've traded a few, and I think like we trade with each other. It's pretty cool. They say it's online, but you know, like they say it's online, but it's really with computers, but like with some games. So I'm curious to see like if you guys can like buy animals from me or if I can buy animals from you guys that would be really really cool if we were doing that so today what I want to do is try to find some more animals and if I just click play there's gonna be chaos in here I already know this so let's check the market one more time any pro oh yay another female oh oh which one's better fertility or immunity you want I want to go with immunity adopt yay we're gonna move you to the quarantine Boop. All right, and I think they're good by themselves. We don't need a whole bunch of them, right? Species data. Oh wait, we do. We need three. Oh, I should have gotten the other one. Animal trading. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, you're still here. Yay. Uh, that's a bad one. And ooh, that's another good one. We will adopt this one. Yes. We'll move her to the quarantine. It will notify you when they've passed the quarantine time, which I think is pretty cool. So now let's go and search for. Let's try giraffes one more time. Oh, that's a cheap one, but I don't have any credits. So we're going to search for red pandas. I am determined to get the red pandas. And they're still expensive. Why is everything so expensive? Uh, I guess all the good ones just sell like really, really fast if we're all like trading with each other. Or maybe I should search for some males too for breeding because I have all these girls over here. We need a male bachelor. Bachelor to the rapture. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What should I breed first? Uh, I think we should go for a zebra first. I feel like that would actually be easier to find. Oh, maybe not. 
let's go for the black wildebeest then. Oh my gosh, they're expensive too. Yeesh. Uh, and that's that's literally all of them. Wow. Uh, wait, we'll go check. Price cheapest. And they're all... Ooh, we got one male. Ooh. Done. Boom. So we're going to put him in quarantine. <laughs> Just because I don't... Last time uh, in challenge mode, the diseases were uh, outrageous. So we're going to click play. Just let things unfold. And see what happens. I think the game was getting... Or franchise mode was getting updated this morning. And why... Why'd you not put that in a bowl? And you brought more fish. Oh, but it's sinky fish. Okay. What? What are you doing? So you're going to pour it on top of the old stuff. Or on top of the new stuff? What? Uh, yep, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Why are they not putting it in the bowl? And she's glitching. Ooh! Are you gonna eat Mrs. Gariel? Oh, are you gonna use the rubbing post? Can you do that? And yep, she's still, uh, glitching at. Oh, look at that swimming animation. Oh, wait, is she rubbing? Oh, nope, she's just walking. Look at that swimming animation, though. And the little babies. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, you're hungry. Oh, there she goes. She broke out of the glitching. So we got a whole bunch of fish now. Now, how are the salties doing? How are my favorites? There's poo in the water. Lovely. How are you doing, big boy? You stud. I haven't even checked your gen- Ooh, you're uh, not so hot. Wait, I probably have inbreeding with this one. So, offspring 0%? Why? But how is it 0% when uh, all these guys are here? Oh, I think uh, maybe he's too old. Stud book. I don't know. Maybe she's too old. Stud book. Oh, she's young. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk? What? Which one? Oh, the. Why are they so. They're so messy. Yeah, I got these guys a mud pit. Look at that. <laughs> female, female, female. That's good. And another female. Okay. And then a little piggy, Jaja. -ja. <laughs> Oh, is that a crack there? Yeah, there's a crack. Eh, it doesn't need a maintenance guy yet. And I'm missing a bunch of Komodo dragons, aren't I? Here's a juvenile. Oh, zero fertility. Ooh. We'll just go ahead and get rid of you. I'm sorry, but we're you're not going to be able to breed. So let's see. Juvenile. Oh, I can't. Uh, oh, we're going to move you back into the closure because I don't think you can trade juveniles. Or trade babies. Yeah. And all these animals in quarantine. Alright, awesome. Wait. You're hungry? Well then go eat, little guy. Go. Ah, ah, ah. Go eat. Oh, you're a big boy. Ooh, we have more offsprings come. But it's at a 0% chance. Oh, yeah. That animation is so good. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. And here's the big boy. Are you protecting your girl? Yeah, which saltwater crocodiles, I actually watched a documentary on like the real scientific stuff about them. They are the most perfect predators on earth. They are so amazing. Their cerebral cortex is amazing. They have a different kind of heart than any other species of reptile. Oh my gosh, they are so cool. Alright, so they're quarantined. So we're going to move these guys from quarantine. So all these guys, we're going to select all. And we're going to move them all to the African enclosure. Boom. Because I think I'll have the right amount of wildebeest now. Because I think if you click on the enclosure, then go to animals, it tells you how many of each animal we have. So I have three zebras, five wildebeests, four springboks, two ostriches, four sable antelope, and one warthog. Because of the inbreeding, I get the interspecies bonus with them being here, so I just uh, let them be in here. What the? Oh, that's poo? I thought it was food. Oh, shoot. Man, that's a big pile of poop. <laughs> oh, but look at this. This is so cool. I love this game so much. Oh, love it so much. Uh, yeah, I'm going to love it so much. Any more giraffes? That would make this exhibit even better. Oh, they're slowly selling, but I need to get more conservation points. Oh, look, he's running around. My little pony. And here come the buffalo. Er, yes. <laughs> oh, they're multiplying. 
they are duplicating. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Welfare 91. Good. Good. All of you are good. Good, 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 good. Now, what's all this? Oh, cleanliness. Well, uh, let's call a keeper for that one and a mechanic. Water treatment's failing. Oh, no. We need to get the now monitors. Water going good. High amounts of litter? That's, uh, you're on your own for that one. And research. Whoa, we got all kinds of research done. Yay. Can I? Ooh, yes. We're gonna, nope. We're gonna, we need to discover diseases. So let's, let's research this one. I've had that one before. Because animal disease. You guys. Bored tetalosis. Interesting. Water treatment failing. Oh my goodness, call a mechanic there. Power source failing, call a mechanic. High amounts of litter. Well, I think we need just more staff members, caretakers. Which also, why am I getting everything but pure daytime? I feel like it's always night or raining. Or snowing. Snowing, oh my gosh, is not fun. That's why these heaters are in here. Because I built my zoo in North America and oh, whoa, there's the babies. She had babies, hello. Uh, Bascoro, Bakti. And Kalipa. Wait, are they all males? Oh, we need some females in here. Hello. Genetics. Oh, that's a good genetic one. What about you? Not as great. And then you, not as good. So you, where'd you go? You're, uh, you're laying on the baby. There you go. Kalipa, we're gonna name you Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Oh, the animations are so good in this game. And the guests. Look at that. We have over 1,500 guests. And I'm on... Wait. Both my guy reels. What? Low welfare. Hungry. What? Wait, go eat, little one. Go... Oh, well, it's kind of not as... Uh, well, we'll uh, call the keeper. Berries. Oh, shoot. We don't want that breaking out because uh, that's a lot of water. Yeah, we'll call the keeper, too. We need to feed them. Well, I swear, you can just go in there and go up there and eat it. And, ooh, the wildebeest. Oh, we're already breeding wildebeests. Heck yeah. He wasted no time. Oh, we got, we're getting plenty of money coming in. Whoa, 12,000 cash flow. We have money to spend. Now, please give me some giraffes so I can spend my money. Mm. Can I buy, like, conservation points? I, I feel like that should be a thing. I'm going to pause while I do this. Because so much time is wasted in this game. Uh, let's go. We need. Let's check out some red pandas. I need for cash. Please, cash. Nope. Well, let me switch that one. Nope. Oh, that's really cheap, though. I'm almost there. So let's see. If I go to animal storage, I could tr trade some guys for conservation points. And that's not good size gene. So we're going to trade him for money. Or for conservation points. Trade. And he will be on the block for one hour. Thompson's Gazelle. Do I have any of those in my exhibit? I don't know. This animal cannot be exchanged after purchase. That's okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't big enough. Although this is pretty huge. Not gonna lie. This is huge. I don't have any Thompson's Gazelles in here. So let's actually move you to quarantine. Because I'm not gonna introduce all these diseases. And then we're going to go on the marketplace and find some more gazelles. Once I see the red pandas. No. Red pandas. Oh, they're all males. I want females. Oh, I can get a female. It cost me 12, but I need to save my conservation points for, like, giraffes. I'm going to have to do some real grinding to get some giraffes in here. Wow. I just now realized, yeah, this is going to be a grind game. This isn't just how much money you make. Oh, boy. Lovely. I, mean, I think this is coming along a little, really, really great so far. Actually, it kind of looks like a z Wait, are those protesters? Why are you protesting? Who's low? Well, Ry Ryan! Why don't you eat something, you little you little nerd? Where are you? You! Oh my goodness! Severe issues? Um, I did find out a trick for this, though, be until they actually fix this feeding animation and the zookeeper feeding. So I'm going to box him. I'm going to move him to the trade center. So yeah, he's in there. But now what I'm going to do is set him back loose. And that will actually fix his food. Now, back to Animal Market. 
Wow, these are not flying off the shelves here. Are you gonna clean the poop? Ooh! Gabriel's about to have off wait, more offspring? Because you already have, like you already have two babies in here. My gosh. You guys are breeding like rabbits. <laughs> Ooh, that's stinky. We need to get that fixed up. Uh, but yeah, imagine that. Like walking down here, overlooking the Gauriel exhibit when you first walk down. And as you get to the bottom, you can see the underside of it all. If I could get the mouse that low. Oh, habitat cleanliness. Oh no. What? These two. Oh my gosh. You. You two. Call a keeper. Two monsters. Quarantine passed. Yay. Uh, I think he needs three. Maybe social or just population. So we'll put him in here. Her in here. You gotta constantly check this animal trading because these things go. What? Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, they constantly disappear really, really quickly. Uh, Transformer. Autobots repair. And research is done. Yay. You've discovered three items over one species, the Gariel. Yay. I don't know why the frame rates are dropping. <laughs> Oh, look at all- oh, it's getting busy over here. They love their turtles and crocodiles. This place must be pretty awful to attract, attract protesters. Well, you know, if they would just eat, everything would be fine. Ooh, where are you running off to? This dude is great. I can't believe Toilet Block 18 is free. Looks like someone's going- gun. Looks like someone's gone on a rampage. What? What? Broken down? Oh, shoot. Let's call a mechanic for that one. Oh, Oh, yeah, that's stinky. Oh, there's stinky stuff coming out. Oh, that's bad. That's bad, 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 bad. Uh, I love the detail in this game. Like, you can put up the signs, like the do not disturb signs. The gazelle has been released. Yay. And same over here. I, I actually put up the do not feed signs. I don't know why it's like in uh, Spanish. But yeah, that, that's supposed to say do not feed animals while over the exhibit. The detail you can get in this game is fantastic. Like the little uh, trash bins, benches. You, sir, are you working? You're just wandering. Well, as long as you're wandering and picking up trash, I'm okay with that. Yes, it's gonna slowly come together. And, ooh, he's running off somewhere. No, but. It's so hard to click. On, I'm literally clicking on the animal. Come on. Come on. Click. There. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to click on these guys. Uh. Yeah, you're doing good. Social... Perfect. Now, where's that, uh, gazelle I put in? Is that you? No. Why are they all laying underneath the bridge? <laughs> They're literally all just designatedly under the bridge. Where is the gazelle? Is that you? No. What the? No. Oh, oh! They do move in herds. <laughs> there we go. Yes! Oh, your social's pretty good. Where you need one more, but everything oh it's slowly drop is it oh it's dropping. Oh, as we speak it is dropping. Okay, so we kinda need a gazelle pretty fast now. Female. Thompson Oh, those are terrible. Ooh. Ooh, that was better. I'll take that one. Failed no long No, it's no longer available. Refresh. It's available. There we go. Quarantine first. Always quarantine. <laughs> you don't want to deal with an outrage. Another female. Oh, that's terrible. And we'll do it. We just won't breed that one. But we need it for the adult population here. Alright, so quarantine. So we're just going to have to... Hopefully, you don't break out. If you check out my last video, they break out. And that's not fun. <laughs> they just let everything out. Why, hello, Mr. Zookeeper. Are you doing your job? Cleaning habitat. Yay! Clean... And we'll repair that fence too. We don't want, well, I may want some Komodo dragons to run loose. I do actually want to know if the animals can attack people. Like if they escape. I, I want to know. For uh, research purposes. Because in Jurassic World Evolution, they totally do. Oh, this is so cool. My dream is coming true. I've always loved animals. Always wanted to work with them just like the crocodile hunter did. And where I'm living vicariously through these guys. Does he fix them the fence? Oh, good job. Oh, there's a, there's a Komodo dragon right there. Just, uh, cleanliness. Yeah, we're, we're working on it, dude. 
our zookeepers are num are numbskulls. Damage barriers. What? Mechanic, you need to be there super fast. The last thing we need is a saltwater crocodile escaping. Uh, where is the mechanic? You should be running in here any second now. Nope, those are people. Uh oh, we may have a problem really soon. There's already ho there's holes. Oh no! That research complete. Yay! Oh, there's the mechanic. Yes, go save the day. Go save the day. Go save the day, little guy. Do it super fast. 11%. Oh no. Ooh, he knows you're coming in. Oh, that would be. I would not be that mechanic. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. Don't get any closer, big guy. Bagus. Oh, are you pooping? Nope, you're just trying to get comfortable. I don't even know how to explain that one. <laughs> Ooh, quarantine. They're all good. So let's put these guys, move them really fast. That way the other gazelle doesn't go on a rampage and try to escape. Two animals. Oh, okay. That's good. That's a good notification. I like that. Why is everyone right here? What are they protesting? I'd give the view of a crocodile. How do you make the animal views better? Because I feel like uh, a view like this, ten out of ten. Well, with the with the fences fixed, ten out of ten view. There's no hidden spots, anything like that. Same with the monitors. Few hidden spots behind the bushes, but ultimately everything is seen. Oh, we might want to repair that too. Repair that one. That's gonna break any second now. And that one, it's getting there. Definitely getting there. Oh my gosh, I may, I may need to spread out the zoo a little bit more. Oh boy. <laughs> well guys, I'm going to wrap this video up there. In my spare time, I will build another exhibit. Hopefully it'll be with red pandas or giraffes. Just because they take so much... Ooh, expecting offspring. Yay! Just because they take so much conservation credits, so I will grind... So we can make that happen and see some more animals. Ah. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, click on that subscribe button so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you next time. Bye!